All right, we're going to sight in the muzzle loader. I just put uh, I just put a loophole three by nine on it. I was gonna put the VX5, but we have ring issues, so there's just there's no time to uh, mess with the ring issue right now with the hunt coming. So you can drive. Mm -hmm. We are <laughs> gonna head out and um, get her all sighted in. So Che's ready. Come uh, Wednesday morning. It's mm -hmm. Monday evening right now. So let's go get it sighted in, Che. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that. Southern Utah. Southern Utah. Snow in September. My wife's video is playing. And she's gonna post to Instagram with one X. <laughs> so what we're doing today is we're going out scouting. Chase has got a muzzy tag here in southern Utah. We're gonna go do a little scouting this morning. And then we're planning on finishing the morning out early afternoon with hunting some chiseler. But I don't know if that's <laughs> gonna happen. I mean, that's quite a bit of snow. I'm pretty surprised. Too, to see this much snow. I and mean, we don't usually see this much snow most of the winter. I just stuck that in my mouth. It's good for you. Because it tastes so bad. <laughs> it, it puts hair on your chest like my grandpa would say. Bring <laughs> <laughs> you know. There's a coyote running down there. He's going to RD right now. Who's going to help us out? <laughs> yeah, he's going to. Two. Chicken. Yeah, he's good. Oh, he's moving, guys. He's moving. Hurry up. Hurry before he goes over. Go, go, go. Jay, Hold go. it on his back. Go, go, go. Get him. Wait till he stops. You got him? Take a deep breath. <laughs> Sound like it hit. Oh dang. I totally jumped. Get reloaded. Do you got your eyes on him? No, he went down here. Over the edge. You want to shoot him? Yeah. Alright, let's go to try to shoot him. That's like a solid four of my brain. Alright, I just glassed up a, a typical across the canyon over here. We're going to see if we can put a move on him and get him killed. Here it goes. He, he got up at the right time, too. We still got plenty of time to get over to him. What's up guys? Alright, so it is morning number two of the Utah muzzleloader hunt and um, yesterday we turned up a giant and this morning we found him again. 
He, uh, he was heading into the trees when I glassed him up this morning. And so me and Che put a little game plan together. I put Che out in the open and uh, I ran around and got out in front of him in the trees and uh, pushed him. And it actually happened really quick. Che wasn't fully set up yet. I wasn't even ready for him to start pushing. Um, but it all worked exactly the way we wanted it to. Just not. Just not. not yeah. They, uh, he ran, he ran right past Che and Che got a shot off and missed, but he was on a full run. So we are going to head down into town and go check the sights on the gun, make sure everything's still zeroed. Yesterday, Che took a spill. For starters, the country we started off in yesterday is like a, uh, kind of like a sandstone, a granite, but it's got a whole bunch of really, really small, loose, grayish, granity rock over the top of it. And there's a bunch of that country. It's almost like walking on marbles and uh, really slippery. And Che took a spill yesterday and the gun took a spill with him. And uh, so we're gonna go check the zero on the gun just to make sure. And on top of it, Britt is not with us right now because she yesterday also took a spill up in there, a nasty, nasty spill, and landed right on her tailbone and we're pretty sure her tailbone's broke. She can't hardly walk, um, lots of pain. She heard a crack and felt the crack when she fell. But uh, yeah, it's just, it was really nasty country and really slippery in some spots, so. Freaking giant. Yeah. Giant. It'll be the biggest deer that's been killed in our house when he kills him. Yeah. If he can kill him. No, I'm gonna kill him. Alright, he's gonna kill him. We just gotta get another opportunity at him, so. We're gonna go check the zero and then we're gonna get back after it. I don't care if you're my son. I don't care if you're my mom. You miss a giant at 50 yards, I'm gonna give you a hard time all day long. I'm not letting up either. Telling him 50 yards. Hey, tell us what happened this morning. Come on, what happened this morning? Jay, what happened this morning? I don't know. What happened this morning? I don't know. 50 yards, bro. down to the river now. Saw some bucks tonight, just not the big boy we're looking for. It was close this morning. Um, we did that push. Had him run by Che at 50 yards. If only he wouldn't have been running at full speed, Che could have smacked him. I got a little excited and I guess I pushed him too soon, but I really didn't mean to push him too soon. Just he, for some reason, he wanted to take off before I was even where I needed to be. It worked out though. It luckily pushed him right to Chayden like we had planned. But between me pushing him too soon, Chay wasn't 100% ready, and uh, just couldn't make it work. And that's hunting. He's a noob. And that stuff he's gonna he's learning. He learned stuff today, I guarantee it one day. Like, don't lead an animal at that that close of range. Yeah, he wasn't leading him too much, but he was hunting him like with a shotgun, basically. <laughs> so he should have just put it right on him and let it have it. But like I said, that's part of learning. That's part of hunting. If we killed every big deer we had, we've seen or had a chance to, I don't think it'd be as fun. I know I've missed my fair share of giants. So, we'll be back at it tomorrow, bright and early. I keep seeing something run on the ground. I don't know why. Did you not see it? No. I thought it was a lizard. 
could have been a tarantula. I don't know. Hey guys, see you in the morning. Let's go get some dinner, put our feet up, take a shower. It does. All right, what's up guys? So, uh, we got those, we had a group of bucks this morning um, in this draw. We couldn't see all of them really well. This draw is really thick. So we decided to just let them bed down, give it a little bit. It's middle of the day now. Everything should be nice and relaxed. We are going to, uh, we're going to do a little push for Chase. So I set them up just across from where these deer are bedded. We got one canyon. His farthest shot's like 250. But uh, I got him and Britt set up. And I've come all the way up over the top of the mountain and I'm down the backside now. Now I'm going to loop around to this canyon. It's actually like a, it's a canyon, but it's like a saddle for this mountain right here. So I'm going to, I'm dropping down. I'm almost there now. I'm going to hit the end of this and uh, I'm just going to push it right to them. These deer, usually when they leave this draw, this saddle, um, they do two things. They either side hill to the left or they drop straight down and cross the canyon going right to Che and, and Britt. So we're going to cross our fingers that that's what they do, but they don't do it. We're going to go kind of slow because I don't want them going at full speed. So here goes. Let's hopefully he gets a, he gets a shot at a good buck or even finds the deer we've been looking for, the big one. So fingers crossed. Read that Tumbleweeds uh, review. <laughs> Oh, you son of a gun. I'm sitting in my... <laughs> you roll it up and you're squishing me. <laughs> I'll just leave the door open. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. I am watching this giant... Oh, he just took a shot. Well, believe it or not, we just turned up another freaking giant. That's two now. Closest we could get crawling on our hands and knees was 200 yards. Set Jay up, he took his time, took the shot. Neither one of us could see what kind of hit he had, or if he did hit, because of the smoke. But he took off on a dead run really quick I just ran back up to get the pack Shay's down here on his tracks I'm gonna follow him for a little bit see if we got blood but uh, probably gonna mark it and come back in the morning it's getting too dark now man this muzzleloader hunt's been uh, one for the books that's for sure We'll get it though. I'm feeling good about this one. So, we'll go mark everything. Give Jay a little pep talk. I don't want him getting too down and bummed. At least it wasn't 50 yards. <laughs> so, uh, see you in a bit. Well, 2017 Utah muzzleloader has come to an end. 
Um, Jay just took a couple shots at a uh, really nice three by four after missing the giant this morning again. And I've preached and preached and preached about how this kid can shoot because he really can. He's, he's a hell of a natural shot. I mean, he just gets it, always has been. And this muzzle loader season, he has shot. Let's see, Okay, so we've shot a lot. And I just thought maybe buck fever, but actually after tonight, having this rock as a rest in his backpack and having that buck at 200 yards, and he hit super high and super far right. So, looks like we need to go do a little uh, sighting into that gun, figure out what happened, how bad he knocked it off. He's 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 turfed it a couple times. He's turfed it a couple times, and uh, the dirt guns hit the ground. So, man frustrating but we're not done he's got the rifle hunt we just got to wait a couple weeks before that kicks off and hopefully these bucks are still here and uh, we can get on one so <sighs> nothing like missing a couple 200 inch plus bucks every day of the hunt <laughs> almost every day of the hunt, yeah oh, wow Jesus. bud oh well it's hunting for you so it's been fun now we're gonna hike back to the rover we're not too worried um because we still got the rifle hunt which i think is october 21st. 21st october 21st so today's october 1st so in 21 days we will be chasing deer again with a rifle and hopefully he can hit one of these giants or hopefully one of these giants are still here i saw i got a rifle down there yeah he, he can shoot we will definitely be shooting it shooting it a lot more i think we're going to start focusing a little bit more on the muzzy hunt yeah now that these guys are old enough to kind of handle things themselves with it have kind of not pushed the muzzle loader too much along with the bow um with them growing up and, until they're kind of old enough to handle everything that's going on by themselves um so i think he's got it down and i think we can uh we can start applying for that kind of stuff. So it's been one for the books, that's for sure. sure. I have. This has been the funnest hunt. Ever, yeah, it has. I've I've never seen this many giant. I mean, absolute yeah. giants, guys. I'm talking like 195 to 210, easy all day long. We've had, we've picked up three big bucks. Um, the biggest being between 205, 210. The other being between the number two being between 200, 205. And then uh, like a, a low 190s, high 180s buck. Mm. Um, we actually found it today. Sure. So, and this is a new buck we haven't even seen yet. So, yeah, it's been uh, been a pretty rad hunt. I'm I'm wishing I had the tag, <laughs> but oh well. Next year, uh, I'll definitely have the tag next year. I've been building bonus points. So, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote for Southern Utah Muzzy Hunt as of right now. If we get another one in, we'll we'll let you know. But we're pretty much calling her quits right now. And uh, Jay's got to get back to school starting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then it's on to the rifle. So thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Uh, this year's been rough. It's been one of them years where not a lot of stuff's getting killed. We're hunting our guts out. And uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. So... And, but on top of it too, every hunt I've been on, I've found at least a 195 to 215, except for my oak crit. Well, I found a 190, a couple 190 bucks, but 195 or 190 to 215 buck on every hunt now, we just haven't been able to connect. So just one of them years. So no worries though. It's hunting, not killing. We're having fun. It's a lifestyle. We're not trying to promote killing animals all the time i mean this isn't one of them uh, shows where uh, you guys got to see a kill shot on everything yeah. we're trying to promote a lifestyle how we do what we do and why we do it and why we love it so and just take you guys along on the adventure so please share like subscribe and uh, help us out guys um you guys are what really makes it possible for us to do this so and uh, my family thanks you so thank you see you guys later